Hi folks, Steve here at Boss Fellers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a Venture RV Sport Track Model 281BH. It's a family unit. We've already done the tour outside. This is the one inside. Uh, this is a beautiful unit. So let's not waste any time, get started. And we'll start right here at the front where uh, the entrance is. So the first thing is, there is a motion detector light right by the entrance. And there is a place to hang your coat for them. So perfect for the family of four. The little door above will hide your monitor panel. And this could be equipped with a solar panel directly from the factory now. If, if that would be the case, this is where it would be. So it's pretty nice. Uh, we have our, um, our breaker panel here and 12 volt fuses. Everything is in here and labeled properly. On this side, we have a large storage area. So pots and pans if you want. Moving along to the other side of this cabinet, we have what I would like to call is the pantry. Look at all the shelves in here. Amazing. A little bit more storage above. And it left the front or the bottom open so you can put some shoes in there if you want. Our dinette, traditional, but what I like about it is that it provides a lot more storage. And they provide you with a couple bins. I really like that. My wife would tell me, bring the bin in and should be filling it all up and then I'll be bringing it back into the trailer to get ready for a weekend of camping. So that's kind of nice. Uh, tree fold out of bed sofa. Lots of windows in the slide out. Even the one at the ends open up. So great ventilation. Kitchen wise, this is a different this year. So what the manufacturers have done is they separated the color for the kitchen. And it, uh, we weren't too sure at first because we didn't see them and we got our first one in and we really, really like it. It, uh, it gives it a little bit of a separation and the color is awesome. So we were getting a little tired of the darker brown chocolate color. So I'm a big fan of that. So let's start with the counter. Thermofoil, so it's, there is no seam. There is a large farmer style sink. It's very deep single bowl a new tap really like it restaurant style and there is a drying rack or actually i should say two of them there we go so the great thing about it is that they are made on a mantle uh, you could put a, a pot for example and you have on your stove directly on it you're not going to harm it so that's a, a very nice touch uh, the stove it's a furion i really really like this one uh, bifold flush mounted glass top. I love the cast iron grill. It is one piece and the feature that I like the most is the knob, the knob lit but if you have one on it will turn red. So you can't forget maybe your flame will be on the very low you're not going to notice or the flame will go out you won't notice but if it's red the gas is on. So that's a very very nice feature and there's also a light in the oven. So very, very nice oven. I really like that one. There's a little decorative backsplash. We talked about the range hood. It's actually vented on the outside. We have a furry on microwave. Pretty standard size. It's designed to warm up some leftovers. Uh, enough room here for your dishes. They even included the shelf. And at the end of this cabinet, we have a place to charge your phone or your tablet, leave your keys in your wallet, nobody will know. It's kind of hidden. And there is a few drawers in here. There's three drawers. All of them will come out, the whole thing will come out. So full extension, ball bearing hardware. They're plywood made. And the one on the top, because of the sink, it's good to make a to put your sponge or your scrubber on there. There's a big pots and pan drawers. Now the entertainment area, so right in front of the, the sofa, so perfect viewing angle. This TV comes out, you could lift it up, angle it up towards the dinette. What they did is this is that extra storage that we had on the outside, below, but above, they, uh, they opened it up. Most manufacturers will just board it up. You're not going to have access to that dead space, but here they put a shelf. You can use uh, this space to put anything you want. So maybe some extra clothes or, or whatever it is. It's kind of nice. And then, of course, that same depth on the cabinet above. That would be probably where I would put the kids' clothes. Uh, there's a little bit of storage below. 
There's an AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, and HDMI. And uh, it's already connected to the TV. And then we do have a fireplace below that actually produce heat as well. So <laughs> nice little corner here. There's a lot of stuff going on. So we have a double box over double. Uh, top one is rated for 500 pounds. Uh, there's a window in each one of them. And there's a USB outlets and a light in each one of them as well. Now the bottom one lifts up. And uh, you could put, be putting a few bins in there and maybe some of the kids' toys. Whatever you want to bring that's extra. So that's kind of nice. Uh, thermostat for your furnace and AC. So heat is doctored through the floor and AC through the ceiling. Talking about the ceiling, they actually put closable vents. It's kind of nice. In the bathroom, we have a foot flush porcelain toilet. We have a very decent sized shower with a surround and a skylight, a little designer curtain. There's a nice little vanity right here in the corner, but there's a little counter here, so that's good. Everybody can leave the toothbrush out. There is a medicine cabinet, a little bit of storage below, and a power fan, light switch, and fan switch. Now this year, they added a nice little LED motion detector night light and that's what we got right now they change the door as well I'm a big fan barn style uh, doors they look great uh, in the side out we have a little bit of storage above the sofa and in this one there's a light switch for the four lights that is in the side out so I left the front bedroom last because it's uh, of all of the trailer out there, I'm having a hard time with the front bedroom. They're always a little tight. They feel so closed in. This one is kind of an exception. So first of all, they left a lot of room at the foot of the bed. And there's the wall where we have a place to hang our coats and the pantry. So that thickness, the, the opening was left big enough with two doors, two sliding pocket doors. And uh, it makes the room look so much more bigger. So that's the first thing. The second thing is we got a true queen size bed and still having all that room to go around it. And now with the front window, uh, when this trailer is outside, it's incredible the amount of lights, natural light that comes in. So I was talking, or maybe not, but you lay in bed, you can actually look up at the stars. That's uh, with that window that's uh, that's rounded a little bit, you get to see the sky. It's pretty nice. Uh, new dressing for the bed. So new uh, new uh, bedspread and pillow shams. Uh, shirt closets, as usual, they're super big, real bars, uh, lots of heights. Uh, they cut them out, they put a little shelf in the back, so we get a power outlet on each side and a USB outlet on one. If you got a CPAC machine, an alarm clock, or anything like that, that could be connected there. You want to bring a glass of water to bed, and you're reading glasses in your book, there's definitely a spot uh, to leave it there lots of storage above as well there's a spot for a tv on the wall and a pretty decent uh, ventilation with two windows that opens and a roof vent now this bed is on gas struts a little bit of storage here for the clean stuff your bed base made out of plywood just like your floor folks um, your floor joist or 16 inch on center and it's decked with 5.8 tongue and groove plywood. So the best way to manufacture a floor. So again, I think it's very important for family units that wants to tow and have a bigger slide. Um, this is it. 32 foot 5 inch overall length. So about uh, 29 foot, a little shy of 29 foot a box. And it weighs just a little over 6,500 pounds at 6,530. You'll put your stuff in it for a family of four. We count maybe seven to eight hundred pounds, so you're going to be in the 73, 74 hundred pounds by the time you're you keep going. Um, it's a pretty awesome little trailer, folks. I think we've done it. If you have any questions, please give us a call, send us an email, or stop by. We'll be happy to demonstrate. Thanks for watching.